Section 3.4.11. The mean finish time for a yearly amateur auto race was 190.28 minutes with a standard deviation of 0 0.298 minutes. The winning car driven by Bill finished in 189.56 minutes. The previous year's race had a mean finishing time of 119.2 with a standard deviation of 0 0.166 minutes. The winning car that year driven by Mandy finished in 118.77 minutes. We want to find their respective z-scores. Who had the more convincing victory? In step one, to determine which driver had a better year relative to their peers, compute each driver's z-score. The population z-score can be found using the formula below, z is equal to x minus mu over sigma, where x is the driver's finish time, mu is the appropriate population mean, and sigma is the appropriate population standard deviation. In step number two, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to calculate the z-score for the race that Bill won. Well, the race that Bill won, he finished with 189.56 minutes. So that means that x is going to equal, or the data value is 189.56. Now, the mean finish time of his race was... 190.28 minutes. So the population mean mu is 190.28. And the standard deviation of that race was 0.298 minute. So we're going to plug it into our formula. We have z, which is equal to the data value 189.56, minus the population mean, which is 190.28, divided by the population standard deviation, which is 0 0.298 which gives us a z-score of negative 2.42. Now in step three, we want to find the z-score for the race that Mandy won. Well, if we go back up here, we can see that Mandy finished in 1 1.18.77 minutes. So we know that the data value x is equal to 118.77. We know that the mean for that previous race had a finishing time of 119.2 so the population mean is 119.2 and the standard deviation is 0 0.166 so now that we have that information we're going to plug it into our z-score formula so the data value of 118.77 minus the population mean 119.2 divided by the population standard deviation of 0 0.166 gives us a z-score of negative 2.59. Now, we want to compare the z-scores of the races. Since the z-scores are both negative, the driver with the smaller z-score did relatively better in relation to their peers. And the driver with the larger z-score did not do um, as relatively well. 